Hey guys, I'm P-Freak. Welcome back to Pokemon Fire Red. Last time we returned to Pallet Town and obtained the National Mode for our Pokedex, now allowing us to see Pokemon from both Johto and Hoenn in addition to Kanto. Made it to one island and helped Celio get a gemstone to help with this little trading machine. And then we also made it to Four Island, encountered our rival, and was told that there was someone we might recognize there. In this part, I stopped by Two Island before we head back to Four Island because I want to talk to this guy right here. Hi, I'm giving it my best here. I hope you do too, Jordan. Now that you've become the champion, he has unlocked several more things you can buy. Lemonade and Moo Moo Milk. This is one of the best healing items you can get, and I wish it came earlier. It restores the HP of your Pokemon by 100, 100 points. This is one of my favorite healing items, and it's only 500 a bottle, so you bet your ass I'm going to be getting them. Uh, I'll get 15. This is usually more cost effective than Hyper Potions because you won't... You do have some Pokemon now with over 100 HP, but still, they'll usually just lose not as much as 100 HP. Basically, it's a really cost-efficient healing item. He also has several other things, and we'll be getting even more as we continue on throughout the story. But with that all said and done, let's head back to Four Island. And now let's explore the Four Island. First off, we have here, I'm the Daycare Man. I help take care of precious Pokemon and traders. If you'd like me to raise your Pokemon, have a word with my wife. This is a second Pokemon Daycare. You may remember that we had one Pokemon Daycare south of Cerulean City. That Daycare could only hold one Pokemon. This Daycare here can hold up to two Pokemon. And now with the ability to hold up to two Pokemon, you can do what's known as breeding. If two Pokemon are of compatible breeding groups, they're in different egg groups, and they're of different genders, typically, then you can actually breed them and have brand new baby Pokemon hatch. Some Pokemon are only available through breeding method, and you may I mentioned earlier you may want to also catch a Ditto. If you have a Ditto and you try to breed with most Pokemon, then you that that what's the right word? Eliminates the factor of you needing an opposite gender Pokemon or even a second Pokemon. That's the only way for you to breed some also non-gendered Pokemon like Magnemite. Breeding can be really useful. It's a lot more complicated than I'm making it out to be if I already didn't make it complicated enough. But it's surprisingly useful. And also, those Pokemon do still get that whole one experience per step you take. So if you want to just leave them there to raise your Pokemon, then you can do that as well. But that's not the main reason why we're here. Lorelei has returned. Did she find the city life too stressful, I wonder? Lorelei! That sounds familiar. This must be your house. What are you doing stalking her? Oh, you found me. Please don't tell Lorelai. Did you know that Lorelai has lots and lots of stuffed dolls? Every time she comes back to Four Island, her collection grows. Ah, I kind of know what that's like. I have a bunch of stuffed animals myself. Uh, oh, that is quite a bit of stuffed dolls, but it doesn't seem like Lorelai is here at all. Hmm. If you don't know who Lorelai is, she was our first opponent in the Elite Four. Anyways, over here we have a Stardust, that's a selling item. There are several hidden items around here. One of them you need Rock Smash for, so I'm not gonna do it. And if we go over here... Oh, chili. I made a slushy using ice I shaved in the Iceful Cave. It's chilly and tasty. That doesn't sound healthy. Do you realize how many Pokemon and people have probably stepped all over there, amongst other things? But if we go into the Iceful Cave... This is another dungeon we need to navigate through. So many dungeons. Uh, but you can't find in here some Pokemon that you were unable to find in Kanto. Specifically, some Pokemon of note are Sneasel and Delibird. Unfortunately, those two Pokemon are not that useful. I mean, Sneasel slightly, but Sneasel gets better later on. These tiles right here, they are basically cracked ice, where if you step over them once, you're fine, but if you step over them again, you fall through to the floor below. Thankfully, we do have this ladder to get all the way back up here. Alright, so... Just be careful when you're walking around here. We have an Ultra Ball. Not bad. And it looks like we do actually need to fall through one of these. I'm gonna go fall through the north side. See if that's the correct path. Uh, well... It landed me on this ladder. I don't think we can go anywhere. This ice, you basically move in one direction, and you're forced to slide in that direction, so... I mean, it got me to this side, so there's that. Uh, let's try falling down here. Okay, that gets us this item, which is a Nevermelt Ice. That boosts the power of Ice-type attacks by, I think, 10 or 20%. One of those two. 
All right, we try. Wait, was this the one I just fell down through? No, it was not. Okay. There, there. Basically, these are brand new puzzles, ice sliding puzzles. There aren't a lot of these in here, but this is where basically you find the ice sliding puzzle. It'd be cool if they had this in um, the Seafoam Cap, the Seafoam Islands as well. And we get HM07 Waterfall, another hidden machine that always has had a tradition of just being located anywhere, basically. Or, like, not being given by a trainer. That's what I'm trying to say. And if we fall through there, we just fall back here. So, I thought ahead real quick. And I have a Pokemon I want to give this waterfall to. I am not going to give it to Crash, because Crash already has a much more powerful move in Surf. Waterfall is still a, phys a special attack in this game, but it has a chance to make the Pokemon flinch. But I will give it to Lapras. Lapras has become another HM slave of ours. Thankfully, you don't use Waterfall all that much, so... Yada yada, come on. There we go. Waterfall does get better as it turns into a physical water type move in the next generation, which makes it really useful for Gyarados, who is a physical attacker. Alright, and now that we have the Waterfall HM, we are able to climb up waterfalls. Yes, we would. Wow, this is probably the slowest I've ever seen us go up a waterfall, like in any Pokemon game ever. Alright, and with that, we finally have access to this cave back here. Keep your filthy hands off the Pokemon in the cave. Do as I say or I'll have, you'll have to answer to me too. Ah, uh, shut it, lady, and leave us be. Don't let your glasses get all steamed up. Jordan, what are you doing here? No, we can't. We can catch up later. Right now, I need your help. Help me kick these poachers out before they do anything else. They've been catching Pokemon here and I'm selling them off. Are you ready? Do you take that one, please? Alright. What? Who says we can't do what we want with the Pokemon we catch? I mean, they have a point. If you caught them fair and square, then... I don't know, maybe it's not ethically sound in this world? I guess that's true because, like... Uh, I don't know, it's a lot of ethical, di ethical dilemmas, I guess. Anyways! Rocket Grunts! <laughs> they, <laughs> they are no competition to two Elite Four members. Yes, remember, we are now considered an Elite Four member because we're the reigning champion of the area, so that's pretty cool. I feel bad for Lorelei because... I guess she's not as forgettable as most of the Elite Four members because she does get this whole side story with her right here. But then, like, Bruno gets... Bruno reappears in the next game. Hell, Koga re... No, not Koga. It was Bruno... Who was the third? Uh, I'm forgetting the Elite Four members, I feel bad. I know one of them is Lance, and we see Lance a lot in the sequel. Um, and then Blue is, well, Blue. Uh, Agatha, that's it. I mean, Agatha we know a bit more because the whole Oak connection, but poor Lorelei. Lorelei doesn't get much attention. Except here, this is kind of where she gets her attention. <laughs> so despicably weak. You, tell me. Where have you taken the captured Pokemon? I'm smashing your ring once and for all. No way, I'm not telling you that. If you won't confess, we'll deep freeze you. My Lapras is furious for what you've done to its friends. Go, Lapras, Ice Beam! Wouldn't Blizzard be more effective? Uh, okay, I'll talk. Pokemon are in the Rocket Warehouse on Five Island. There, I said it, we'll be going now. But I doubt you'll ever make it into the Rocket Warehouse. <laughs> Don't kill us! Jordan, thank you. But this is awful. I was born and raised here on these islands. I had no idea that those horrible criminals were loose here. So you feel responsible for... their bad doings? I don't know. You really shouldn't be responsible for one whole island, and there's no point in us being here, I guess. I'm. There probably is some Johto or Hoenn Pokemon that you can get here. So... Most likely Johto, as we can get most of our Hoenn Pokemon through Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. And then you had Pokemon XD, Gale of Darkness, and Colosseum to get most of your Jota Pokemon, plus some areas around here. But that's basically all we need to do here on Four Island. Four Island's not that big, but it does have this area here for us to get the HM for Waterfall. And it also has the Pokemon Daycare. And there's one other person here that's of interest. I just can't remember where they are right now. Basically, there's a, po there's a 
person here who will teach your Pokemon Body Slam if you want them to. Probably in this house. Body Slam is a normal type move that does pretty decent damage and has a chance of paralyzing the Pokemon. It was a TM back in the original generation. Anyways, I'm going to heal up and then quickly swap out Pokemon. Alright, they said that their rocket warehouse was over on Five Island. Let's head on over to Five Island. Go to other Five Island. Oh, we're only on high speed three instead of high speed six or seven. Okay then. We'll make it on to Five Island. It's been getting busy around these parts lately. I haven't been catching any good fish either. Feels bad for you, man. Feels bad for you. What does this say? Five Island. Chrono Island. Time goes. Interesting. That meadow has belonged to our family for generations. I should have a giant mansion built on it. It would be preferable to having those thugs run wild on it. Thugs, huh? Sounds like we're getting closer to what we're looking for. Well, if we walk past down here... We arrive at the Five Island Meadow. Looks like there's a hidden item over there. I do not have any of my HM slaves right now, so... I'll probably grab it later. But we do get some new music. I think these are remixes of stuff from the other games. I'll fight you later. So head down here. Looks like another rocket grunt that we're just gonna avoid. Walk all the way up here. Uh, I think, are you required? I guess you're required. There's nothing past here except our warehouse. So what brings you here? Oh, you know, just looking at the meadow, trying to stop a criminal organization. I already beat your boss, so I don't know why you guys are still fighting me. Coughing. No, these Pokemon have gotten a lot stronger. These aren't the weak old grunts that we fought in Icefall Cave, no. These are like actual threats. Sort of. They are the same level as you, and yet we're still one shot. Okay, I take that back. They're still not much of a threat. They're just threats that give out more experience points. I take that back. It's a Weezing. Weezing's not going to get one shot by a Thunder Jet. There's no way. At least not one coming off a Raichu. Maybe one coming off a Zapdos. Yeah, it's getting a one shot. And, well, we have Shockwave, so we don't have to wait against the smoke screen all that much. Honestly, having Shockwave and Thunderbolt's not a bad idea. Maybe somewhat repetitive, but you never know. There are these occasions where you get smoke screen, sand attacked, all that stuff. And Rick grew to level 50. Nice. Halfway through the max level. That wasn't supposed to happen. Shouldn't have said that. Should not have said that. Alright. Let's quickly switch everyone out. And we have Bun Bun. Hopefully Bun Bun will be able to actually show off his new move. Alright. And if we try to go up to the warehouse, Jordan entered a password. Goldie need lock. Another password is need to open the door. Seems like we can't access the warehouse quite yet. Where do we get this other password? I'm not entirely sure, but let's head on over to Six Island instead of Five Island. There might be more for us to do over there. We can just surf over here, get an item, get a PP up, not bad. That's good because there is an item that we need to get eventually that... There's a move that we need to get that we will be needing this for. Uh, can I just surf? Oh wait, there's something else over here. Uh... You know, I'll explore over here later once we actually make it through the rocket warehouse. So I'll meet you guys back over at the ferry. Alright, back at the port. Ahoy there, where do you want to sail? We're gonna head on over to Six Island. Hopefully there's more stuff for us to do there. Huh, I recognize this tune, I just can't- it's definitely a Johto tune. Anyways, welcome to Six Island, Fortune Island of Age Wisdom. Age wisdom, huh? Do you have any wisdom? When you're this far away from the city, the sky at night is fantastic. Keep going this way and you'll get to the water path. Stay on that and you'll get to the ruined valley. Huh. That sounds interesting. What do we have going on in this house? There's nothing that young people would find exciting here on this island. But this is a good place in terms of nature and history. Okay, boomer. Alright. So, we head on to the water path. I have a feeling you're a trainer. I should put another repel on. Should probably buy some more repels. We're kind of running low. And we have a hidden item over here. We have a pineapple berry. Uh, what does that do? Don't quite remember what that does. I think it's just a ingredient. Doesn't really do much. Yep. Just an ingredient. 
Alright. Let's see. Another item over here. We have an Asper Berry that heals Freeze. Let's see. Can we avoid this guy? Yes, we can. Perfect. Alright. Over here, we have the Ruin Valley that he was mentioning earlier. There aren't a lot of trainers for us to encounter around here, are they? Alright. Let's see. How do we get through this? Oh, hold on. There's an item over here for us to get. How are we gonna... Oh, I know. So you push this boulder. Strength enabled. Push this one here. Push this one up. And we get an HP up. Not bad, not bad. I might actually give that to Lee Sin, because Lee Sin does not have a lot of HP. He's very fragile. Uh, looks like a trainer we can just avoid. Uh, don't tell me. I'm gonna leave this battle, and then immediately that trainer's gonna see me. And it's gonna be like, haha. Oh, so we are not finding good places for us to test out Bun Bun's Shadow Ball. Alright, let's put another repel on, shall we? I don't know if any of these trains are required. Most of them are probably not. And again, I'll just fight them off screen if I have to. Uh, hi girls. You guys are spinner. You're a Lisa spinner. Alright, you're both spinners. Can I get you? Nice. You're probably a spinner too, but if we just walk by, easy. Oh, it looks like we have something going on in here. The door doesn't budge at all. Check them more thoroughly. On closer inspection, there are several dots on the door. I wonder what that says. So, upon reading the alphabet, we can't access here quite yet. Because we don't have the Pokemon we need. And there's nothing else for us to do around here, either. Do these things say anything? No, they don't. So, I need to go grab my HM sleeve in order for us to actually access that. Whoops. But in the meantime... Let's see. How do we want to access this one? That, that, that. That. Here we go. We got a Sunstone! That's a new evolutionary stone that we cannot buy in the Celadon place because no Pokemon usually evolve from it. You can give it to Gloom to evolve into a new form, which is Bellossom, and also a Pokemon called Sunkern into Sunflora. I think there's probably more, I just can't remember right now. Let's see, there's that item right there. Let's see if we can find a way to get that. Or, you know, just walk up here, but it looks like it's blocked off by a trainer. I'll fight him real quick. Alright, that was a nice quick battle. So, just to get this, we just need to push these. And we get a full restore. Not bad. Alright. Doesn't look like there's much else we can do here. Sorry, doesn't look like there's a cut damn. A Firo! Interesting. It's about the level of Pupper, so that explains it. But it doesn't look like there's much else we can do here, so I'm gonna go grab my Paris, and then we're gonna open that thing with Cut. God dang it. Oh, hey, new Pokemon, not to. I need it for a oh. long Oh, while we go inside the Pokemon Center, hey, Jordan, how's your Pokedex filling up? Looks like it's impossible to get all the Pokemon by hanging around just these sparks. Maybe there are Pokemon we don't know about somewhere far away. Hmm. Well, if I can't do it, there's no way for you to get it done. I'm not going to get all desperate over this. I'll keep collecting Pokemon at my own pace while I train. That's what I'll do, so there's no point in staying here. I may as well leave for home. That's that, then. Smell you later. God, giving up so quickly, Blue? I thought you were supposed to be the world champion. Oh, wait, that's me. Alright, arriving back at the dotted hole. We read this again. It says cut. And if we use our Paris... We have access to the Dotted Hole. Alright, anything around here? Nope, looks like we just need to fall through the hole. Hmm. I'm guessing that says up, so... I'm gonna go up. Uh... Hmm. I have no idea. Maybe that says left? I'll go left. Uh, right. I'm only guessing by the amount of characters that are on the text. So, two characters would be up, 
five characters right. It's just left and down, I'm not sure. So, I'm guessing that's down. Hey, I was correct! What do we have here? Let the two glittering stones. One in red, one in blue. Connect the past. Two friends sharing power. Open a window to a new world that glows. The next world waits for you. I again have no idea what that's trying to say, but okay. And we got the sapphire to match up with the ruby. How fitting. Who the hell are you? <laughs> I guessed right. I was right in tailing you. I knew that there was a sapphire here, so it belongs to me. I'll sell it to Team Rocket for serious money. Don't glare at me like that. If you want it back, why don't you go get it after I sell it? I'll even tell you you want passwords to Team Rocket's warehouse. The warehouse password I know is yes, nah, chancy. I'm done. Don't think badly of me. Thief! Thief! Oh no, I didn't really want- Thief! Alright then. Well, looks like we had to head all the way back to the Five Island in order to finally access that warehouse. Meet you guys back at the port. Arriving back on Five Island, real quickly, since I have my HM sleeve with me, I might as well get this item here. Found a max potion, not bad. Though we have Moo Moo Milks and a bunch of full restores, so... I know we have plenty of max potions. That is a Pidgeot, or Pidgeot. Why is it Pidgeot and not Pidgeot? It's level 50, it should be a Pidgeot at this point, honestly. Why am I suddenly running into so many high level Pokemon? This is annoying. I fight you by accident. Just cut this down real quick. I don't think I fought you yet, so I'm just gonna wait. And then I've already fought you, so now we have access to the warehouse. Goldie need log, yes, now nah, chance. Alright. Welcome to the Rocket Warehouse. The last little HQ for the Rocket, Team Rocket. Our team's looking fine right now, so... Looks like we have more sliding puzzles. But these look a lot more complicated than the ones before. Uh, let's see. Uh, this one will lead us up to a stopping point. If we continue forward, we might have to fight that trainer, but let's see what this item is. An upgrade! This you give to the Pokémon Porygon, and then you trade it, and it'll turn into a new form, Porygon 2. Oh, god dang it. Anyways, as I was saying about Porygon 2, it's a new form for Porygon that wasn't available till the Johto games. Uh, let's try going this way, see where that takes us. That takes us here, okay. So you won't encounter us unless we step forward. Come on, turn. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. It's back. Let's try this way. There's a sickness. Okay. Got a new pathway. If we walk all the way over here, we can get that item, which is a pearl selling item. You guys have plenty of selling items around your places. Why do you constantly have to try to sell Pokemon? Let's try going this way this time. Okay, that just led us back here. Awesome. I kind of think the excessive amount of sliding tiles are just kind of excessive, as I said. Let's see. So... We go down there. That would lead us back to the beginning. Except there's an item down there, so... Let's see what this item is. A big pearl! Another selling item! Again, rockets, what the hell are you doing? Alright, up here again. Come on, turn already. Turn already! Uh, hmm. I think we need to go to this one. Yes. Okay. Now, let's see. So that leads to there. That one leads down there. So I think we just need to walk around these guys a bit. Yeah. Completely avoid all the little conveyor belts here. 
And we get this item right here, which is a TM36 sludge bomb. Holy crap. This was the item. This was the move I wanted to teach friggin' Bun Bun for so long, and I don't even have Bun Bun on my team right now. Do you see how annoying this is? This is Bun Bun's best poison type move that he can learn, and he doesn't get it till now. He learns only Poison Sting till then. And even in the original games, I don't think he learns anything other than Poison Sting. Uh, I feel so bad for the Nido King. Nido King sucks with the stabs, except for Earthquake, but it excels in having a variety of movesets, so that's the exchange. But still, that's the move I wanted to get for so long. I'm gonna be forced to fight you. So Bun Bun, poor Bun Bun had to wait so long to get all his moves. And they're probably not even gonna be that useful, since we have so little of the game left. Start off with a Hypno. Alright. I think it probably would be better if I used Double Edge. Pupper tried to learn Extreme Speed earlier. Extreme Speed's not a bad move, it just... I don't know, it didn't have a, as many power points, and it also is not as strong as Double Edge. The the benefit about Extreme Speed is that it's a, it is a strong move, and it has a plus one priority. So it's usually faster than most other moves. I don't know if it's a plus one, but it has a higher priority, so... That's the nice thing about Extreme Speed. I don't think it's a bad uh, bad move, I just don't like it personally. Meditate, that's gonna do so much for a special attacker. Alright, we can probably finish you off just a fight. I do wish Pupper learned Crunch, but that's only a move that Pupper can learn through breeding, I think. Alright, level 50. Not bad, not bad. Next up is another Hypno. Alright then. Lee Sin would suck against this thing, so I guess I'll just use Double Edge again. I'm surprised Double Edge is actually getting some use. And I'll probably finish it off with an Aerial Ace. Poor little Bun Bun, just getting his moves so late and us not really using them that much. Eh, oh well. I still think- I just think I'm playing Nido King wrong is all. There's multiple different ways you can play with a Nido King, and I'm probably just playing it wrong. Looks like we have another required trainer. Hopefully you don't have any psychic types with you. Only one way to find out. Wait. No, yeah, yeah, it was. I'm... Mm, sorry, I'm wasting time here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was like that. Alright. I don't know or care what I'm doing is right or wrong. I just put my faith in Giovanni and do as I'm told. Uh, I feel bad for you, honestly. Putting your blind faith into an evil villain or whatever? I mean, granted, he wasn't... that evil, I guess? It's complicated. Let's see how much Rock Slide does. Uh, then nothing. I mean, Brick Break isn't gonna do anything either, so let's try Strength instead. Maybe we'll do slightly more? Mm, about the same, honestly. And we've been Rock Team, so we can't even swap out anyways. Oh no, that's, I was thinking Sand Tomb. Rock Tomb just lowers my speed. Okay, you know what? I actually didn't think I'm gonna swap out. Fortunately, we don't have any of our Poison Specialists, so we're just gonna have to stick with Crash for now. Rock Tomb is an annoying move. You can't encounter it early in Ruby Sapphire and Emerald through the first gym, and it is so annoying to deal with. Uh, oh fuck. Okay. Oh, come on, really? Uh, damn it. Should have kept one of my, one of my poison type specialists on me. What was I thinking? Uh, come on. Just get through the surfing, please. Crit, 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 yeah! I didn't expect that to work, but it did. Nice. And next Pokemon, that was only your first, is Vileplume. Okay, we actually have something that can actually deal with this real quick. Let's see, hopefully, mm, half HP isn't bad, but never mind, we've been Giga Drained. We've been duped, we've been bamboozled. No, damn it, what's the line again? 
I've been tricked, we've been duped, and we might possibly have been paid this look. I don't know. I haven't watched that scene from Red vs. Blue in so long. I haven't watched any Red vs. Blue in so long. I never really finished it. I stopped, um, after... Uh, when did I... It was, like, before Carolina and... Actually, that's gonna be spoilers. Now. I think I stopped... It was, like, the end of Season 10, I think I stopped. Yeah, it's probably the end of Season 10. Alright, and Arbok. That's fine, I'll just probably be using Flamethrower on you anyways. This would be a really bullshit ability, but this would be an interesting ability where it's a poison type. Oh, Earthquake, that's gonna suck. It's a poison type, but it has an ability where if it gets hits with fire type move, it causes an explosion. Which is stronger than the actual move explosion, but it has the same thing where it KOs the Pokemon. That'd be interesting to see. I don't think it'd be very useful, it'd be like a suicide bomber, but that'd be interesting to see nonetheless. God damn it. Curse Rock Slide for now. I'm actually getting my ass handed to me right here. Oh, come on. Okay. I think after this I'm going to go, ooh, and actually grab Bun Bun. We actually kind of need him here. And use his crits. Okay. Oh, that was the admin. No wonder she was so difficult. Okay, then. You're doing things according to your beliefs and morals. I understand now. I made it so you can come back in through here. Why don't you go get rested and refresh for what lies ahead? The admin after me outranks thoroughly as a trainer. You'd better steal yourself a one-horse challenge. Wow! I actually genuinely do feel bad for her. Sorry, Lisa. But that was really nice for her view. She's having a moral dilemma right now, and... Wow. See, some characters in Pokemon have actual souls. Alright, I'm just gonna stop by Five Island real quick, er, the Pokemon Center real quick and heal up. Meet you guys back over at the Rocket Hideout Warehouse, whatever. Alright, back in the Rocket Warehouse. Thankfully, she was nice of us to not have to go through all the conveyor belts again. Uh, I'm just gonna sneak by this guy. Oh, never mind. It's quite enough of you playing the hero, kid, spreading lies about how Team Rocket was disbanded. It's such an obvious attempt to con cause confusion in our ranks. Fortunately, we're not so ignorant to fall for the lies of a child. Now, I'll show you how scary an angry adult can be. Oh, don't worry. I've learned easily how scary an angry adult can be. Don't you worry about that. Anyways, know the Team Rocket admin. Thankfully, this time I actually brought my poison type fighters with us, but I figured to start off with Lee Sin, because Lee Sin has Rock Slide. And can easily take care of this gold bag, no problem. Never mind, you can't take care of that gold bag, no problem, and you're now confused. Lee Sin, you've honestly been a disappointment this entire time, and I... Well... Eh... I don't know. It is nice having a fighting type, but Lee Sin hasn't been entirely the most useful member of our team. Alright, next up is... Weezing! I'm gonna swap out. Unfortunately, despite the fact that I have Shadow Ball now to counter the Ghastly family, Weezing and Golbat and poison types like that are still valid checks for Bun Bun. They're not exactly counters, but they're valid checks. Thankfully, we do have Shadow Ball still, so we can at least do some damn. There we go. Oh, whoa. Alright. You know what? That's fine. Uh, okay. Well. <laughs> I'm sorry, Bun Bun. Guess that just leaves Lee Sin to get all the experience, and hey, you're at level 50. Not bad. Uh, I guess we're sending out Crash now. I'll just use a revive on him after this battle. Final Pokemon is Houndoom. Pokemon from not around here, but a very fun one anyways. Crunch, that's actually going to hurt because it's a special attack and lowers special defense. Nice. Thankfully, they do change it to where it lowers defense, physical defense instead of special. Once it gets its physical um, classification, I guess that's the right word. Houndoom is a fun fire dark type special attacker from the Johto region. And that hurt a lot. Ouch. I've used Houndoom before. I like it. Though this sprite is not doing any favors to it. <laughs> it gets better sprites later on. Ugh, you were too strong. That's Giovanni's badge. So it's true, Team Rocket really disbanded? Yep. Yes, it is. How do you see my badge, though? 
will abandon this warehouse, but I don't think this is over. I won't just let this be the end. I will find Giovanni, I will resurrect Team Rocket. I will. Until then, farewell. And all the trainers disappear, so if you didn't find any of the trainers, eh, you're kind of screwed. I didn't find any of them, so I guess I'm kind of screwed. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna go heal up everyone real quick. Alright. We have one last battle to deal with. This asshole. I almost managed to sell the sapphire for huge money. Then you just had to come along and blow the whole deal apart. <laughs> There's no forgiveness for you. Yeah, well, F you too, buddy. And we have one of our last major battles, Scientist Gideon. He starts off with a Voltor. We're gonna go ahead and send a Bun Bun, and hopefully Bun Bun will just be able to earthquake everything. He just has three electric types with him, so if you have a ground type with you, I recommend using that. Alright. Oh crap, he actually has more Pokemon than I thought. Never mind, I thought he only had three, but no, I didn't see that as five. Porygon! Uh, you know what, let's try our new Sludge Bomb. It doesn't do as much damage as this quick, but still. We have yet to actually try out Sludge Bomb. Nice, and actually poisoned it too. Sludge Bomb does have a 30% chance of poisoning, so it's a pretty high chance. Try attack, interesting. Despite what its animation says, it actually is a normal type move. Alright, you're probably gonna heal it up, so... Oh, no, no you're not. Now if I had still had Brick Break instead of Sludge Bomb, then I could've used Brick Break on it, but... Sludge Bomb... Sludge Bomb's just nicer. Electro! Again, just use Earthquake and it should fall apart in one, one attack. Magnemite. Sorry, I was checking something, that's why I was silent for a bit. Alright, next up is Magnemite. And boom. Easy. Easy. Alright, and his final Pokemon is a Magneton. I am actually really glad that Magnemites and Magnetons do not have Levitatus their ability. Though honestly, I think it would really benefit them a lot if they did. Alright, and we defeated Scientist Gideon. Yeah, darn, darn, darn! Damn it. Damn it, damn it! I can't sell it, it's worthless. Go ahead and take it. Eh, not necessarily. Well, we got the Sapphire, let's head on back over to One Island. Alright, arriving back on Y Island and going inside the Pokemon Center. Hey, CLEO, we did your job for you. And here's the Sapphire. So, this is the gem that forms a pair of the Ruby. Jordan, you've gone through a lot to get this, didn't you? You don't have to tell me. I know it wasn't easy. Thank you so much. Now it's t my turn to work for you. Please give me a little time. Okay, this is good. And... I did it! I linked up with Lynette! Jordan, Jordan, I did it! I've managed to link up with trainers in the Hoenn region. Finally, the network machine is fully operational. Jordan, I owe it all to you. Thanks to you, my dreams come true. And with that, we are now finally able to trade with people who've played Pokemon Ruby, Sapphire, or Emerald. With that all said and done, we are not quite done with the place around here. We still have several other locations we need to go to, including Seven Island, and there are quite a few Pokemon that we still need to capture. But that's going to be it for this part. If you like what I do, subscribe to my channel, consider supporting me on Patreon, follow me on all my social media links. All that will be in the description. I'll see you all next time where we're going to explore a few extra places that we haven't explored yet. I'll see you all then.